Hey guys, I'm David from LearnStageLighting.com, and today I'm answering a question that came in on a recent post. So, Justin wrote in on the recent post, how do I create great front lighting for my church, and I'll have a link below to that. And, and he wrote in and said, how come, you know, I go to concerts, and, and the band, the vocalists, you know, are lit very well, very brightly, you know, you can see them clearly but there isn't light spilling on to the backdrop. And um, and so I, I replied quick and I said, well, um, we're going to have to make a video about this one because it's a little bit complicated. But once you understand kind of the, the physics and how to lay it out, it, it's actually not too difficult. And there are some tricks that you can use to, to make this happen in, in your world. And so, Justin, I know, for example, you are a, a church person, of course. I wrote that post to church people, though I'm sure other people lighting in, in other um, contexts are, are going to see that post, and that's cool. But but um, here, here's how it works. Basically, we've got our stage. We'll draw our stage, and I'm going to draw things uh, from the side here. So we got our stage. we got Justin here on stage leading worship. Um, or somebody else, right? And uh, so we got our stage here. We got our lights. And, uh, you know, the, the angle of the front light is, is really our primary concern here, right? So if we have it at about 45 degrees, which is ideal, something like that. Got our light up there. It's shining this way, of course. Um, then it's going to create a pool of light on our person like this and you can see if we have a backdrop back here it, it's not going to hit it if, if we control the physics that tightly now the the problem you might see here is well you know I've got people up on the back of stage and I want them well lit as well and, and that's where we, we've got some problem solving to do, right? Uh, because if, if we want to light somebody back here, we're, we're going to have, you know, another light here um, in this area, and it's going to be lighting back here. And, oh, no, we're washing the backdrop. And, and that's probably what you are, are running into in your specific context. And so there, there's a couple things we can do to fix this. Let me erase and clean this up a little. Once again, we've got our stage, we've got our worship leader, we've got our light at a 45, and, and it's important to note that, that if our light were down here, you know, if it were a lower angle, uh, there, obviously then the cone's going to come out like this and we're going to get more spill onto the backdrop. So keeping that angle high is ideal. In fact, in, in some circumstances, say, um, where I've got you know, I, I can think of some shows I've lit where there's a backdrop that's a screen, a projection screen, and, and they want to be able to use most of the stage, you know, maybe up to about a foot from the back. Then we're going to deploy a lot of side light and, and, and very low front lighting. And though it's not as pleasing to the eye, it, um, it'll get the job done and, and keep the light off the screen, which is the purse. But um, regardless, we got our lights up here, right? So we got our cone of light. On Justin and we can see it's just getting into the backdrop a little and so one of the tricks we can do here uh, maybe we even have that second light washing the upstage watching uh, people at the back of stage maybe about here right and one of the tricks we can do to keep lighting off the set is we can start the set say about four feet off the stage so that our light shining when it hits the backdrop is hitting below our set below our backdrop and and we, we can have some black drape there and, and you'll probably you know you'll hardly notice that there's no set there because you got people standing in front of it and there's black drape and so that's gonna hide things um you can even you know a lot of times if i'm going for that look where i really want the set to shine out i don't put any up lights hitting the drape and so that it really just disappears into the background. Uh, and so that's one way we can do it. Of course, the other way we can cheat the physics is that we can 
draw our stage back in here. Draw our worship leader. And our backdrop is that we can simply, and this is a very shallow stage, but it could be deeper. We got our light. And, and we could simply, <laughs> we're not going to be cutting off his head. We draw it a little back further like that. But we can simply not, either not have anybody back here and, and not light this part of stage and say, you know, let people know not to be back there. Or we can do some alternative lighting if it's just the band and we don't have anybody who's singing leads on it. You know, we could possibly, uh, let me draw a front view. We could possibly, so this will be a front view. And say that's our worship leader and that's our guy near the back of the stage. Oops. And, and so we could possibly finish this drawing out here. Woohoo. We could possibly, you know, have our front light on our worship leader. But then, coming up from the sides, we could have some side light, maybe just in color you know, coming and hitting this guy, and so that the beam is going to wash not on the backdrop, not not here, but over here and over here, right? You know, there's going to be a, a pool of light here and a pool of light here with his shadow because the light's coming and hitting him pooling down there. And so that's one trick we can do. Um, another trick, if you've got it really depends on your space. Um, if you've got an installed stage, this might not work as well. But similar to not using the back uh, few feet of the stage, we'll go back to our side view. You can set your backdrop a couple feet off the back of the stage. So we've got our guy standing back here. We've got our light on him. And now you can see that light, um, you know, even if it's at a slightly low angle, is only hitting the very bottom of the backdrop. So you could even you could even start scribble that out and start your backdrop, you know, three feet high, but also three feet back, and, and that gives you that space for the light, the angle of light, to come and and hit that black draper or, or whatever you got down there hiding things. So. Um, those are my tricks. I, I hope that helps, Justin. And um, definitely, um, that that's kind of those are kind of the different ways that we can use physics and, and use our angles to keep our front lighting off of the backdrop. Um, you, you know, you may be in a situation. It sounds like it probably where the front lighting gets on the backdrop, and so. You know, you're going to need to do one of these things. Um, the other thing that's important to note if you are in this situation, if you're using PARs or Fresnels, you can get barn doors. Or if you're using ellipsoidals, or they're called Lecos often, you can use the shutters to crop the light um, nice and flat so that, so that the light, um, you know, right above the people's head gets, gets cropped off so that there isn't the circle of light but you're just cropping it off so it's nice and flat. And, and that'll create, you know, a line where you can then set your set above um, and or behind it. And, and so that that's another thing you can use to help. But I hope that helps. hope that's really useful. Um, those are really the, the tricks that you can use in order to keep light off of any screens or set that you may have back there. So thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you guys next time here on LearnStageLighting.com. Thanks.